Hi there, Ed Merrison from Cellar Hand here, just having a look at another one of these wines in focus from our very own Stephen Panel. Uh, this is Steve's 2019 Basso Garnacha. So a wine that had been bubbling away at the back of his mind for some years. Steve, obviously a huge, huge fan of Grenache, um, a big believer that of all the sort of commonly planted grapes in South Australia's warmer areas like McLaren Vale, where Steve's winery is, Grenache is the one. Uh, obviously it loves the sunshine, it loves the warmth, so it makes a lot of sense down there. But then we obviously have a lot of very serious sort of single vineyard wines and Steve himself makes a couple of uh, real Australian benchmarks in that regard. But he saw an opportunity to make a uh, Grenache that shows the sort of lighter, juicier side of this grape variety. It's obviously a very fruity variety, very popular on behalf really of that lovely, approachable, soft red berry fruit that you get with Grenache. Um, and so Basso was conceived as this way of delivering a real, almost chillable wine with juicy, young um, pleasure. And naming it Garnacha instead of Grenache, using the Spanish instead of the French, it sort of invokes that, I suppose, that joven style, that drink young, juicy style of Grenache. Um, you might remember this wine here in 2017, sort of a humble wine in some ways, or, or certainly a, um, a kind of fun wine. Uh, that picked up, I think it was three trophies in the um, Royal Queensland Wine Show back in 2017. And it always actually does really stand out from the pack because it's got lovely, lovely bright red aromatics and it's such a juicy, fresh, approachable and lively wine. So as I say, 2019 here, is, it's effectively it's made with very, very little sulfur. The word basso there, meaning low or coming from the, uh, the Latin for low, uh, referring to the very low intervention way in which this is grown and made um, and the very low levels of sulfites here as well, which kind of taps into that market of people who are looking for, you know, even more naturally made low intervention wines. Um, and it really does live up to that promise that Steve had of making something super lively, super juicy, very, you know, drinkable when young. So it's released young, it's tank fermented, tank aged for a short period of time. And it has this lovely, really lifted fragrance, beautiful um, sort of red fruit fragrance, all those berries, a little bit juvie, which is no bad thing as well. It just shows that sort of that fun element. Oh yeah, and there's this lovely round sort of almost blue fruit, blueberry sort of um, bursting um, berries in your mouth with those raspberries, a little bit of licorice there, a little bit of spice, but this lovely gentle flow and a real sense of, of that sort of roundness to the fruit as well. It really fills, fills your mouth, but in a really, really light way. I mean, if you're looking for something, you know, for the for the fridge in the summer, a real picnic wine, I'm sorry, I know everyone's probably sick of picnics already, but something, you know, to put, in, uh, put up at any kind of barbecue friendly event where you just want something that's gonna hit the spot for everyone. Not an overly complicated wine, but boy, it goes a really long way in the refreshment and the fruit forward factor. That's the 2019 Basso Garnacha from our very good friend, Stephen Pennell in McLaren Vale at SC Pennell. Cheers.